Our first reading today, entitled, What is Love?, will be read by Teresa Lau. What is love? Sooner or later, we begin to understand that love is more than verses on a valentine and romance. We begin to know that love is here and now, real and true, the most important thing in our lives. For love is the creator of our favorite memories and the foundation of our fondest dreams. Love is a promise that is always kept, a fortune that can never be spent, and a seed that can score to even the most unlikely of things. And this radiance that never fades, this mysterious and natural joy, is the greatest treasure of all. Only known, or one known only by those who love. Hunter, do you hear, in the presence of family and friends, Declare your love for and commitment to Carol, choosing her as your life partner and soulmate. Do you freely offer yourself to her and willingly accept the gift of self she offers you? Terrell, do you here in the presence of family and friends declare your love for and commitment to Hunter, choosing him as your life partner and soulmate? Do you freely offer yourself to him willingly accept the gift of self he offers you? I do. Hunter, please repeat after me. I, Hunter, take you, Terrell, to be my wife. I, Hunter, take you, Terrell, to be my wife. My partner in life and my one true love. My partner in life and my one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. And love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will trust and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will love you faithfully. I will love you faithfully through all of life's challenges. Through all of life's challenges. Come what may, I will always be there. Come what may, I will always be there. To grow with you through all my days. To grow with you through all my days. And to always remember how grateful I am. And to always remember how grateful I am. To have you by my side. Terrell, please repeat after me. I, Terrell, take you, Hunter, to be my husband. I, Terrell, take you, Hunter, to be my husband. My partner in life and my one true love. My partner in life and my one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. And love you today, tomorrow, and forever. And love you today, tomorrow. I will trust and honor you. I will trust and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will love you faithfully. I will love you faithfully. Through all of life's challenges. Through all of life's challenges. Come what may, I will always be there. Come what may, I will always be there. To grow with you through all my days. To grow with you through all my days. And to always remember how grateful I am. And to always remember how grateful I am. To have you by my side. To have you by my side. Do you, Hunter, Lawrence, Hughes, promise to love and respect Terrell? to share your life and your dreams, to build with her a home that is a place of love, happiness, commitment, and growth? I do. You promise to be a companion to her in all of her successes and failures, her happiness and sadness, to always give her your unwavering support, and above all else, the freedom to be Terrell? I do. And do you, Terrell and Neil, promise to love and respect Hunter, to share your life to build with him a home that is a place of love, happiness, commitment, and growth. He promised to be a companion to him in all of his successes and failures, his happiness and sadness, to always give him your unwavering support and above all else the freedom to be under. I do. Though we've heard the vows that have been shared by Terrell and Hunter, words once spoken are carried away on the wind. Therefore, the wedding ring is a visible symbol of the promises that have been made. May I have the ring? May these wedding rings be a reminder to Terrell and Hunter of the commitment that they have made today and as a testimony to all the world 
of their devotion in marriage. As you place the ring on her finger, please repeat after me. I give you this ring to wear. I give you this ring to wear as a symbol of my abiding love, my eternal faith, and my undying devotion. It is an outward reminder of our inner unity. Place the ring on his finger. Please repeat after me. I give you this ring to wear as a symbol of my abiding love, as a symbol of my abiding love, my eternal faith, my eternal faith, and my undying devotion. And my undying devotion. It is an outward reminder, it is an outward reminder of our inner unity. Our second reading today is entitled "Blessing for a Marriage." by James Dillett Freeman, and will be read by Chelsea O'Neill Dewey. May your marriage bring you all the exquisite excitements a marriage should bring, and may life grant you also patience, tolerance, and understanding. May you always need one another, not so much to fill your emptiness as to help you to know your fullness. A mountain needs a valley to be complete. The valley does not make the mountain less, but more. And the valley is more a valley because it has a mountain towering over it. So let it be with you and you. May you need one another, but not out of weakness. May you want one another, but not out of lack. May you entice one another, but not compel one another. May you embrace one another, but not out encircle one another. May you succeed in all important ways with one another and not fail in the little graces. May you look for things to praise, often say I love you, and take no notice of small faults. If you have quarrels that push you apart, may both of you hope to have good sense enough to take the first step back. May you enter into the mystery, which is the awareness of one another's presence, no more physical than spiritual, warm and near when you are side by side, and warm and near when you are in separate rooms, or even in distant cities. May you have happiness, and may you find it making one another happy, and may you have love, and may you find it loving one another. May your love be one based on freedom. For though our hands may touch, it's our hearts that hold. When you hold love within your heart, you radiate a light which shall brighten all the days of your life and beyond. Everything we love becomes a part of us forever. So take your time with each other. Let your love's seed grow and mature with the seasons to provide you with warmth serenity, joy, and acceptance throughout all the years of your marriage. Love is not a wall, it is a bridge. Love does not confine, it sets you free. It leads as a pathway winding to places unknown and mysterious. With love to light the way, you can meet any challenge together. Now, you've heard the words, about love and marriage, you've exchanged your vows and made your promises and celebrated your union with the giving and receiving of rings. It is at this time that I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you as husband and wife, Hunter and Terrell Hughes. Thank you. 